Chabow! How's it going, everybody? I am back today with a, what the hell is this? A team, talk. team Talk. It's a Team Talk, brought to you by me, Andy Hauser. Team. Doors opening, can you hear that? Is that good? Just roll it? F*** it, roll it, we're going. Team Talk, top five Suzukis are coming at you right now. All right, here we go. Now, Jordan comes to me, we got top five Suzukis. I'm like, well, all of them. There's no reason to go top five, we just do all of them. No, no, gotta do five, so. He always does this to me. He makes me pull these things out of my mind and jab myself in the head and do weird things because I got to do five Suzuki's. I like them all, but he's like five. All right. So we want me to start at number five and work my way that way. Okay. All right. So number five, the 140. I love the 140. Uh, perfect pontoon, perfect walleye, perfect uh, all around motor for what you're doing. The 140 is an awesome, 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 reliable motor. The thing is about the Suzuki is we're going to talk about reliability because you know I love the reliability of that outboard. It's turnkey, it's you go out, you come home, it's everything that it should be. Um, but the 140 comes in at number five. Number four, um, 90 horse. I am a fan of the 90 horse. Why? Um, we've seen them on the walleye boats, we've seen them on the pontoons. We've also starting to see them on flat bottoms, some flat bottoms. So um, the 90 is a super reliable, super quiet, super smooth, beautiful, running, awesome outboard. Um, it is probably, it could have been number three if it wasn't for the 115 SS. The 115 SS is a beast. It is a literally a beast. It's a great outboard. We put them on deck boats, we put them on pontoon boats, we put them on small bass boats, we put it I have not put it on a flat bottom yet, but I got a guy that wants to put one on a flat bottom um, and see how cool it would be with the tiller handle. So the 115 SS is a great performing motor. It performs on everything that we put it on. Everything we put it on, it has performed and the customer has been extremely happy with it. Um, number two, it may be next to number, it is, it is my second favorite outboard that they make, the 50 horse. The 50 horse, four stroke Suzuki with the big tiller handle, power trim and tilt on the end of the handle, big shift lever, readout on the tiller, beautiful. That black and silver that they did, that 50 horse is a screaming machine on a flat bottom. Um, we haven't put it on anything but flat bottoms up here. Guys love it. Um, the warranty's great. The outboard itself is reliable. I mean, these guys are going out and beating the dog crap out of these motors up here. Um, running them through the mud, bouncing them off of stumps, beating the crap out of them. We're putting 17 or 15 pitch stainless props on these motors. Had a guy email me yesterday about a 50. Want to know what prop to put on it? I told him exactly what prop to put on it, and uh, I'm, he's going to be extremely happy. Um, he's got a flat bottom. I think he's got it on a 17 foot or something like that. I don't remember, but we're, we put it on the we put it on a Havoc. It was on a Havoc. We did that. We did it on a. Um, a G3, the G3 flies, it literally screams and it's loaded. It's got a big trolling motor, 36 pound thrust, big deck, um, absolutely goes. The guy loves it. He's uh, He was a Yamaha guy prior to this and he's now a Suzuki man for life. Absolutely loves it. Turns key, starts idle, smooth. Uh, he likes to troll, likes to fish bass, fish panfish. It's the ultimate setup that 50 horse is. 50 horse, if you have not experienced the 50 horse, go check out a 50 horse. Just go check out every Suzuki I'm talking about. Go check out Suzuki in general if you have not. But that 50 horse is unbelievable. The number one, are you ready? Drum roll. We got it. He's back by popular demand. The drum roll guy came back. Jordan gave him five bucks today and he showed up. Um, he was vaping on the corner. Can I say that? Yeah, all right, he was just vaping on the corner. He's fine, we brought him in, he's good. Um, he's now our drum roll guy, we call him Vape. So you'll never get to see him, he doesn't want to be on camera, but that's the guy, he's the drum roll guy. So Vape just did his job, he's awesome, but the number one Suzuki in this mind is the 250SS. I absolutely love that 250SS, you guys know I've ranted and raved about it. Um, you can go talk to any pro that's running it. You can talk to them about what they had prior and you can ask them about it today. And I know, hey, 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 I know. I get a lot of comments about why you watch my stuff and you don't watch their stuff because they're getting, I don't know, they're getting paid or something and I'm not. Um, I'm just coming out and telling you that I would put a 250SS on my boat. 
I would run that thing anywhere. I would drive it from the top of this river all the way down to the bottom of this river. That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. And I wouldn't have a problem and I wouldn't worry about it. I'd, I'd put my life on the line, top to bottom, with that 250 SS and I know I'd make it. That's how I feel about that 250 SS. It's 100% reliable outboard. Um, some people say they're not as fast and it's all due to setup. I'm 100% on that. I can make them giddy up and go. I can make it do what it wants to do. We are having one or two issues with them on certain boats just because I think of weight distribution. The problem is that you gotta remember that some of these boats weren't built for some of this stuff. So you gotta change things. You gotta look at things. Maybe what do we gotta do? Do we gotta move some batteries? Do we gotta do some of that? And if that's something you're not interested in doing, then I would highly recommend you to just stick with what you have. Because when it comes to setup, like with the 250SS versus the Merc 250 Pro XS versus the Evan, wait, sorry, they're not around no more, versus the Honda versus the Yamaha, it's all different. There's different things, guys. So you can't expect to take your 250 two stroke Pro XS, take it off, put your Yamaha 250 on, and make everything the world perfect. There's adjustments, there's things you have to do. So. Um, every outboard in today's world is probably very competitive and very close to each other But when it comes to me if I was gonna Devote my life into fishing and let's say I want to make sure I get home make sure I want to be doing what I'm doing I'm spending the money. I'm going with the 250 SS 100% um, and it's not because I'm a dealer I am a dealer because I believe in the outboard I don't have to be a dealer I don't have to be a dealer of any of this stuff But the things that I promote the things that I do are the things that have been tested right here behind me in this shop out there on that river and I believe in all of these products that I talk about. No one's paying me to do this, guys. Nobody is. I'm not getting paid to do this. Jordan's not paying me, I'm paying him, okay? I'm doing this for you, the consumer. So when you guys talk certain ways, I don't mind how you talk. I don't care if you hate me, it doesn't matter. But in the limelight of things, I'm doing it for you, the consumer. I'm bringing the attention to you because if I'm building this paper notebook and the post-it doesn't work or the sticky doesn't work, they don't want you to know that. But don't you wanna know that? That's what I'm kind of doing for you. I'm trying to take that in little quirks, either get them fixed by companies, challenge the companies to go fix them, or so you coming in know about this and you'll be a little be able to address it. Not everybody's smart. I'm not saying I'm smart, but if you got a little bit in your back pocket, a little bit of ammunition, then you're going to be a little bit better off when it comes to this, that, and the other when it comes to buying outboards. They're expensive. There's no way around it. We know this. But like I said, this list was from this mind. And like I say, Suzuki doesn't pay me to do this. I'm just doing this because I figured you'd like to know about Suzuki and I think you should go check them out. Um, but I'm a dealer because I believe in them. I believe in the outboard. I believe in the reliability. I'm a dealer of what I have power pole because that's what I believe in. You know, I believe in that. I believe in lithium pro. I believe in, I can, this can go on and on, but I'm not gonna sit here because this is a Suzuki one, not everybody deal. So top five, top to bottom now we're gonna go. Number one, the number one, 250 SS. Number two, 50 horse. Number three, the 115 SS. Number four, the 90. Number five, the 140. And I do have an honorable mention. And the only reason it's honorable mention is because I haven't physically rigged, set up, run, and done it, but I am a true fan of the 350. I am a fan of it. I have a little toy of it on my desk downstairs. Actually, Katrina's desk. I don't own a desk. It's Katrina's desk. Um, that was given to me by Suzuki. Um, I absolutely love it. I've heard nothing but good things. The offshore guys love them. The twin prop, it's just a cool looking deal. Um, if they made it in a 20 inch, I'd probably put it on a bass boat, just see how fast it would go, just because I want to. Um, but the 350, I'm a fan of it, honorable mention. But like I said, if you have not checked out Suzuki yet, go find a dealer, go online. I don't care, email me. I might not get back to you right away, but you can email me. Comment here, comment right here. Jordan will see it, he'll get it to me one way, shape, or form, whether it's at two in the morning or now, he'll get it to me. Um, but make sure you're talking about it, make sure you're gonna go see it. Um, tell him Andy sent you. Andy from Team Marine sent you, tell him that. Tell him that. Call Suzuki, tell him Andy sent you, see what they do, all right? Um, but that's the list, 250 SS, 50, 115, 90, and a 40. Those are your top five, in my eyes, my mind, of a Suzuki. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. As always, comment right down here. Boop, 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 right here, comment, subscribe, click notification bell to witness the madness that soon every Japanese person that builds Suzuki is soon to say. If I knew how to do it, I would do it. How do you do speed money, no brakes in Japanese? Anybody, anybody out there? Give it to me.
give it to me right down here so we can figure out how to do it. And I'd do it next time if somebody could do it for me. Anyway, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to witness the madness that every Suzuki person in Japan is soon to say, speed, money, no breaks in their language. See ya, I'm out, peace!